commenting before you even watch the video. What's good, people? Today we're talking about fan favorite DeJounte Murray and clan's favorite Derek White. And if these two gentlemen could be the next Tim Duncan and David Robinson Twin Tower. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and address this. They're not touching these accolades. I mean, even if you look at the accolades of Tim Duncan and David Robinson, they're not touching these, okay? I'm not going to argue for that. I mean, we're talking... <laughs> Look at the NBA seasons, bro. 19. We're talking final MVPs. We're talking season MVP. We're talking all defensive teams. We're talking defensive player of the year from David Robinson. Uh, I, uh, both of them scored over 20,000 points in their careers. No, no. Look, they're not going to touch that. That's not what I'm going to be arguing for. I'm going to argue that the San Antonio Spurs have not had a defensive duo since Tim Duncan and David Robinson. And this might be the first time that we're going to have that since these two fine gentlemen hit the scene. Now, another argument that I want to go ahead and bring up and I want to address because some people might say, well, Clan, what about Kawhi Leonard and Tim Duncan? And to that, I will say Kawhi Leonard, he when he was getting really good, I'm talking we won the championship and he completely took off yes say 2016 just say 2016 is when Kawhi Leonard really took off when the he put the league on notice at that point Tim Duncan was actually on his way out so right when Kawhi Leonard was getting ready to hit his peak or at least make that surgence Timmy was gone so I don't think it's really fair to even address it in that matter and to say that these two were a defensive duo because not only was the team full of of people playing phenomenal defense on that especially that championship run these two didn't really get to play together they weren't in the same timeline if you will now with DeJounte Murray and Derek White I'm gonna go ahead and say that DeJounte Murray I love the grittiness he brings I love the nastiness his, he brings and he has pretty good defensive IQ he can guard pretty much anybody but one thing that people seem to forget and maybe because Derek White was injured this last season is that when Derek White was starting he was guarding everybody like it wasn't even compare like every single time we had a superstar that we had to go against this man was guarding him now last season DeJounte Murray made even a bigger jump as far as defense he started making clutch plays at the end of games he started getting really just timely steals and with that being said we haven't got to see gotten to see these two guys together by any means if we look at their stats together it's very similar which that's why i find it so weird when people dog on Derek white for some reason very similar stats and these two guys together could be something special you got Derek white who only played 36 games but if you even see his stats right off the bat, you can see, oh, this looks pretty promising. And another, st not statistic, but well, kind of a statistic, but an article that I want to show you guys is this article that I read here. White, coming off a disappointing season health-wise, still played his best basketball yet. He and Murray combined to make one of the best defensive backcourts. Oh, excuse me. Defensive backcourts in the league and White showed the ability to catch and shoot threes hitting 37 percent Derek White isn't even a sharpshooter so for him to catch and shoot his threes and hit 37 percent means that he put himself in that role implemented it well and we could see these two guys working phenomenal together because that's exactly what a guy like DeJounte Murray would need and a guy to feed Derek White the ball is exactly what he would need. He wouldn't have to put all of the team on his back like he did during this season in particular. He will have a guy that has his back and they can kind of build off each other. And I'm going to go ahead and make this statement right now. And this might be a crazy statement to say. I truly do believe these two players will end up being the best defensive backcourt in the NBA. I truly, truly believe that. If you combine Derek White's basketball IQ with DeJounte Murray's grittiness and nastiness and pretty good defensive IQ, I think you come up with two guys 
that are going to be able to go into the film room, practice together, and end up being very great together. Every time we see them together, they play pretty well, but we haven't gotten to see a full season of these two. And if Derek White can remain healthy, if DeJounte Murray can keep doing what he's doing and building off of last season, it's going to be a nasty scene. And one other thing, this is going to be the last thing that I mention as far as I want to bring up, is one thing about Derek White, oh, sorry, that's not Derek, this is Derek White, that he's been missing is that confidence. Last season, every single time he played, I can't explain it, but it was an aura. He had a ton of confidence, more confidence that I would expect from a guy like Derek White that would be coming off the bench. He knows that he belongs in the league. DeJounte Murray has always known that he belongs in the league. And I think that you might be coming across two very confident players, two players that are ready to take the NBA by storm and who are ready to show you what's up. So when we're talking about modern day Twin Towers, defensively, maybe we'll get something similar. Similar to what Tim Duncan and David Robinson did under the rim. Maybe, just maybe, DeJounte Murray and Derek White can do the same thing in the backcourt defensively. Okay, shameless plug. If you want to become a patron, I'm doing uh, monthly giveaways. Go ahead and do that. Uh, link in the description for that. If you guys want to support the channel, like I said, monthly giveaways, I promise. It's going to be the end of each month, okay? All right? It's, it's going to be awesome, okay? It's going to be amazing, okay? It's not going to be that great. But you, you're going to get something in return, okay? I, I like to give back to the peeps, okay? Um, But yeah, so... Just let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm on point? I, I really want to know. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll get with you guys later. Till next time. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing it.